for mid-career women in the Duke University School of Medicine who aspire to leadership positions, the Office for Faculty Development has created a new program called ALICE. The ALICE program provides in-depth opportunities for leadership skill development, personal reflection, goal setting, peer mentoring, and structured feedback to help women at Duke take their careers to the next level. My focus is on getting women into leadership positions because I think we have plenty of women in the pipeline. I wanted to focus on women because we know that there's a stubborn paucity of women in leadership positions. That fact is supported by the most recent AAMC national data that show just 15% of department chairs are women and just 16% of deans. I want them to see leadership as a skill that can be continually developed and not something that is out of reach if you're not born with a particular personality. I have aspirations to be a center director um, in the not so distant future and I wanted to be sure I was prepared for that. We do an extensive training on the Myers-Briggs type indicator and we do a 360 evaluation where they get feedback from people all around them about how they're perceived as leaders. I had not gotten much training as a people manager and so I was interested in making sure that I was doing the right thing. All of the sessions have been very good at making clear that you need to, you know, within yourself know where you want to be going and make sure that you're taking the steps to have those opportunities. I also want them to have a sense of themselves as leaders, a sense of their style, a sense of their strengths, and also a sense of their blind spots. We do a lot of work on unconscious bias and understanding our, our own blind spots. And I now feel like I have this sort of network of very inspiring, very impressive women that for the rest of my career at Duke, I expect to um, gain much from that network. These are now women that I would say I would go to as I have kind of challenges within the, the workplace. There's also interesting data out there about how women are perceived uh, perhaps differently than men. For instance, there's this idea of the more likable a woman leader is, the less competent she is perceived and vice versa. And so there appears to be kind of a narrow window of behavior that is um, acceptable for, for women leaders. And so navigating that can be challenging. Through the program, I think I have, it's opened my eyes um, to some of the ways that women leaders are sometimes judged by a different stick. What's nice about here is that it's, you know, locally, it's, so it's obviously much easier in order to be doing, able to do the program. I think Duke is sort of ahead of the curve in being able to offer this. And I hope that my best work is yet to come. And I think that having um, a year to really think about and develop some of the things that I would need in the next stages of my job. I think that those things will be increasingly helpful to me as I sort of continue to move up the ladder.